hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to add mouse moving effect on website using html css and javascript on this website you can see one image in the background with a dark color layer on the image when we move cursor over the image you can see it removes the dark layer on the circular area around the cursor so that you can see the background image clearly in that circle you can move the cursor to focus on any area of the background image and see the cleared image. We have made this highlighted circle using HTML and CSS and this circle is moving with cursor using JavaScript. We will make this amazing effect for website in less than 10 minutes. So keep watching this video till the end. Before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel AZ Tutorials. Now, Let's start the video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one image that is photo.png. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Now we will add the code within this body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name hero and here we will add one title in h1. So the title is highlights. Now we will add the CSS for this class name. Write this class name here in the CSS file and for this div we have to set the width and height. Then we will add display flex align item center and justify content center. So the title will be in the center of this div. Again write this class name then write h1 for the title and for this title we will increase the font size and we will change the font weight. After adding this come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this big title in the center of this web page. Now let me close this browser and I will open the browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file and save the code file. So you can see the same web page with the title in the center but the URL has been changed. Now just come back and come to the CSS file. Here in this div we will add the background image, linear gradient and here we will add two color code. This is the first color code and we will add the same color again after a comma. Then again add one comma at the end. And here we will add URL and in this URL we will add the image which is photo.png. So after adding this background image we will add the background size and background position. And we will add background attachment it will be fixed. Then we will add the position relative and overflow hidden white so that text will be white. So you can see a dark layer on the background image and this text in the white color. After that we have to create one circle and in that circle we will display the image. So just come back and after this h1 we will add one div with the id focus. Now we will add this id here with the hashtag because it is an id here we will add position absolute then we will add the width and height for this div it will be equal to 80 pixel then we will add the z index 1 after that we will add the background in this background we will add url and one image that is the same image photo.png after adding this you can see this image in the center in a square box just come back and in this one we will add the background size and background position then we will add background attachment fixed after adding this you can see the square box image position is the same as the background image position this is because of this position fixed now we have to make it as a circle so just come back and we will add border radius then it will look like a circle. Next we will add the top and left position. So here we will add top. 
Here I am adding minus 140 pixel because it is the half width of this div. Left also same. So it is in the center. Now we have to move this circle with the mouse movement. For that we will add JavaScript. So write this a script tag here. Before this closing body tag, here we will add let focus equal to document dot get element by id. And here we have the id called focus. After that we will add let focus half width. We need half width of that circle. So here we will add focus dot offset width slash 2. It is divided by 2. So we will get the 140 pixel because the circle width is 280. Now we will add document dot on mouse move equal to function e. This e will have all the events with the mouse movement. So here we will add focus dot style dot left equal to e dot page x. e dot page x will give the exact value of the cursor in x direction and here we will add minus focus half width and pixel. Let's duplicate this line and here we will add top and in this top we will add e dot page y it will give the cursor position in y axis. After adding this we will come back to the website again. Now you can see if I move the cursor the circle is also moving and it looks like the circle is actually displaying the background image. Right now the circle is hiding this text. So we have to move this circle behind this text which is title. So just come back and in this focus we will add z index 1 and here we have the title in h1. So in this one we will add position relative and z index 2 so that the circle will be behind the title. Now you can see if we move cursor the circle is also moving and it is revealing the background image clearly. We can move this circle in any part of this web page and you can see the background image clearly without any layer and it is behind this title it is not hiding that title so finally we have designed this beautiful cursor animation using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video